Hey guys, today I am going to talk about why Graham Stefan won't just come out and be honest about FTX. Obviously, we've seen Andre Junke, we've seen Spencer Cornelia, established titles, right? Another event, another sponsorship that many people are calling as scammers, even though, according to Spencer, they plant trees. That is nice, but not for the amount of money. If you were concerned about planting trees or $50 could actually go to plant way more trees with a real organization, a real charity than a registry of titles, if you will. So let's get to Graham. Graham has basically said he's a financial expert. He's telling you how to make money. Many people do look for him for financial advice. And even if he says it's not financial advice, if he's telling you how to make a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, what to do if you're, you know, in this case, put your money in the crypto exchange FTX, which went to zero. I mean, FTX is a bloodbath. It is so bad that the mainstream media is now attacking Graham and they're writing articles, which is something I've never seen before. Graham has promoted sponsors that are very shady sponsors before but this is the first time because it's so mainstream with ftx sam freed bankman's very interesting story right caroline who knows where she is now people say she's in hong kong people say that she's in abu dhabi maybe she's in bali with the voyager dudes so the reason graham can't say it is how bad it is if somebody whose main kind of stick in youtube is to give financial advice that you can take and the answer is why would anyone take it? Well, I can't think about a sponsor. A sponsor with an affiliate link is tracking exactly how many people Graham is signing up. Graham has every single incentive to sign them up because he probably gets a base pay. And again, this is the honesty and transparency thing, which we don't know. We don't know how he got paid. We don't know what he got paid. We don't know how long he was paid for. We don't know, you know why he deleted the videos or the FTX sponsorship. We don't know if the contract is void and no, no right now. There's so many different things that Graham needs to come out and say, including what does that contract look like um, to be truly honest, truly transparent. Was it a one year contract? Was it a two year contract? Was it a 10 year contract? was a monthly stipend plus a bonus sign up which a lot of different organizations use i would not be surprised for ftx and were there any warning signs where hey i'm getting paid a lot of money this kind of seems like a ponzi scheme because how could i possibly get paid this much money if all you're doing is taking a fee right so the bonus offers plus the payment to sponsors it seems really really high if this was just a exchange, right? You don't see Fidelity, you don't see any other exchanges offering all this money to influencers on YouTube. The reason Graham does not, is not gonna talk about it is the reason that many of you suspect it is far worse than you can imagine. You know, it's like Andre Jonke, he went from FTX, I mean, not even went from, he just can't take it at the same time. When FTX went down, he said, oh, put in BlockFi. BlockFi went down and now he's promoting established titles with his good friend Spencer Cornelia from the creative agency they're all part of. I mean, they're all part of the same agency, so it's no surprise that one of them uh, promotes established titles, all of them promote established titles. It's quite interesting to see the push, right, that they're making because again, it's an untangible asset. It's basically a fake asset. Uh, that's my opinion of it is it doesn't add any value. I do know Spencer, you know, I, in comments, I, I tried to ask him to look at it and honestly look at it, but he ignored you, me and he just said, oh, but they plant trees and he's very condescending. And one day they'll come for you too, Spencer, because it's so funny that, you know, you make this video protecting your friends like Graham and then suddenly it's like, wait a second, Spencer also has established titles too. So any sponsorship that a person like Graham would accept is gotta be the greediest. It's gonna to go to the highest paid. And once, if he if it comes out, and I do, do hope it comes out one way or another, probably not from Graham, how much he got paid, how much each sign up was worth, how much each bonus he would receive, the actual contract. I would love for the actual contract to come out. And as a lawyer, I would break you down every single segment and tell you why this is a scam. 
and why he is being incentivized at every single point to try to get people to sign up to something that he knew the reward program didn't make any sense. 8% plus 250 in Bitcoin and you know, Andre Duncan doing his magician things, credit cards. These guys, they go to the highest bidder. They're, they don't, it, look at established titles. Did nobody do a Google search about them? Did no one you know, do a YouTube search when you're making videos on YouTube? No, of course they did, but they didn't care because they're getting paid so much. Once the real amount of money comes out, then people realize, wait a second, these people are not wealthy because they made good financial decisions and now they're telling me about their financial decisions. They're wealthy because they made money from me because they signed up my grandmother to FTX once it went to zero. Once people realized that, they were gonna lose all their subscribers. So they cannot, Graham will never make an honest or transparent video about FTX. From the very get-go, he won't tell you the contract. He won't tell you how much he got paid. Because if he were to be honest with you, people would be like, oh, Graham's not a millionaire because of the great investments that he's made. He's a millionaire because he kind of just sells us shitty things like FTX. And once people realize that, they're not gonna watch his videos anymore because they realize like, oh, well, I can't get wealthy from listening to Graham because I don't have a bunch of subscribers I can sign up for FTX. Anyway, <laughs> guys.